outskirts of the city, in a remote field, a group of laborers were harvesting a meager crop of peas. Suddenly, a shadow fell on that pea patch from the hills as hundreds of Philistine soldiers appeared. Armed in full battle gear, fear struck the hearts of the people. These farmers were mere peasants with no hope against a professional army. Remaining in that field would mean almost certain death. They looked down at their pea patch, situated on an insignificant plot of land, and they realized that it was not worth risking life and limb to defend this ground. They dropped their farming tools and ran for their lives. This would have been the end of the story, but unfortunately for the Philistines, there was one man in the field that day who was not just a peasant or farmer. He was a warrior. He was one of David's mighty men. Shammah was perhaps one of the greatest warriors who has ever lived, and this was to be his most glorious battle. Now after him was Shammah, the son of Agi, a Hararite. And the Philistines were gathered into a troop where there was a plot of ground full of lentils, and the people fled from the Philistines. But he took his stand in the midst of the plot, defended it, and struck the Philistines. And the Lord brought about a great victory. 